so lo we got the lore drop of Paimon. That's pretty intense. One of the kings of hell. Could my dad have been like trying to have him as a salutor? That'd be kind of crazy. Answer the telephone. Hello? I talk here? Do you hear me now? Victor? Victor, are you there? Oh my god, the five are people that you? died in the building could have been yes. the sacrifice. You're right. Victor, uh, where are you? On the other end of the line, at home, where the <laughs> telephone rang. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Where are you? You're calling my home phone. Hello. Find out how he got your number. Ask why he's calling. Has something happened? To me? No. I am telling to me? with you to say I found lodgings here in Warsaw. If you need me, I'm by the cemetery. Uh, what number is it? Yes, yes. Seven Povaskovska Street. Uh, number seven by cemetery. Povaskovska. I'm glad. It's good to hear your voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to hear you as well. Uh, goodbye. I, I want to end now. What do I... Uh, like this? Wonderful device. <laughs> Remarkable. Hello? Oh, and now? <laughs> That means just hanging up. This is a regular conversation. That's me and Suprek on the phone. Suprek calls me. Where are you? <laughs> what are you doing? Have you found anything yet about the Grimoire? Is there any way I can help? Smoking a stogie out here? Ask about the woman's trace you found in the study. In Father's study, I found a trace of a woman that I couldn't identify. Uh oh. Probably Svetlana Romensova. Svetlana Romensova. Who is she? And what does father have to do with her? Svetlana is a Russian aristocrat who travels with the Romanov's court. I can only tell you she was a customer of father's. A customer? If you don't want to say, then don't. Where can I find her? When she's in town, she stays at the Imperial Hotel. She might know something that will help me find the grimoire. Not so fast. To get in, you're going to need me and my connections. Okay. Svetlana is famous for her soirees where she hosts the creme de la creme of Warsaw. Oh, is she like a headmaster? You know what I'm saying? Ask what a soiree is. What a soiree? How long did you say you lived with mother in Paris? Just a party, if you like. Do you know what that is? Very funny. We could go together. How about you track down some evening clothes and I'll sort out the invitation. And I won't take no for an answer. Okay, well Sadly, then. you never give me a chance. Unfortunately, everything in my wardrobe is antediluvian. I need a tailor. There's a shop at 11 Pruzhna Street that's fairly decent and quick. We okay. also have barbers in Warsaw in case you want to do something about whatever you have growing on your head and face. Hello? Yeah, should I grow my hair out? Yeah, let's have some liqueur. Liqueur is not alcohol. It is more of a tincture, in fact. Yes, a medicine. And since life is the most common fatal disease, well, to our health then. Whoa, I like that. Yo, this, I'm telling you, the English writer for this is so good. It is more of a tincture, in fact. Yes, a medicine. And since life is the most common fatal disease, well, to our health then. That's a good cheers. What is this? Did I draw this? Oh, this is so cute. Master Victor, let me guess. Have you come for some hot cocoa? Some hot cocoa? Ask for a cup of 
Coco. Ask for something stronger. Yeah, I'll take a hot yes, cocoa. A cup of cocoa would do me good. Help yourself. The pot is in the salon, along with some of your favorite cookies. It's been an age since we've seen one another. I'm glad you're back. Mistress Ligia is really struggling with everything. Ask about Ligia. Ligia won't open up to me, but how is she doing? She's having a rough time, the poor dear. Her heart is heavy, though she doesn't show it, but she's strong. She keeps her chin up and doesn't give in. And it's good she's got you to help now, Master. Only she started smoking like, like a, a chimney. She takes after her father, no question about it. Ask about your father's death. And so, the great Stanislav Shulsky is dead, crashed by a building. Can't say I'd wish a death like that on anybody. An awful death. Sheer cruelty. Mr. Shulsky didn't deserve it. Now all we can do is think back on what a wonderful man he was. Huh, wonderful. That won't take long. <laughs> Dude, I love how sassy he is. Get aggressive now to talk about Stanislav's so, death. This death. What do you make of it, Grashenka? I'll tell you in confidence, Grashenka. Mr. Shusky. Now, I'm a simple woman, but something about your father's death doesn't sit right with me. Me neither. How do you mean, Grashenka? Don't you suspect some impure powers had a hand in it? Do you mean it could have something to do with thaumaturgy? That I don't know. Look at us jabbering while there are potatoes not peeled. Oh, she knows Forgive something. Me, master. Another time, Grazinka. I'll get out of your way. Grazinka. Always ample work, but I can always snatch a moment for a chit chat with you, master. Oh, she's so sweet. She made me cookies, hot cocoa. Drink hot chocolate. Do you know the secret to time travel? It requires but one sip of cocoa. All of a sudden, Ligia is reading a book in front of the fireplace and I'm stacking building blocks. My parents are arguing in the smoking room. It's a warm day and then everything goes to hell. This is what my, this is what my art looked like when I first started. I'd be just be like drawing stuff. Sketching random things. Let's check out the garden. Are you lost? Fuck. Don't try to be a hero, and it'll be all right. You're outnumbered. Oh, burglars! Let them withdraw. Point out they don't have the edge. Yo, burglars? Sorry, but you all are fucking with the wrong person. Quantity doesn't always translate to quality. Call the rest. We got one with a death wish. All oh, these people want a party. Let's go, a little scrap. All right, let's improve my thaumaturgy real quick. Let's go right here. Oh, increases inflicted damage by 75%. That's actually crazy. Where is that? Let's put it on this one, yeah. Yeah. And then fortune gives a 50% chance of interrupting the... Yeah. I want to put it on the diversion because I feel like the focus is good. Let's start the fight. Let's go. To all these guys. They messed with the wrong one, actually. Who has more health? All right. So on this guy, I'm going to give him... Um... Oh, planned attack is only two to three. Why? I give him an old wound. 
And then on this guy, I'll give him the, the one that's the more health points, the higher the damage yeah, right here. I like the old wound. That little bleed is good. I'm going to keep burning him. Ooh, ooh. Enemy reinforcements are on the way. It's okay. Ooh. Oh, he cut me. Oh, he cut. Oh, my God. All right, I'm bleeding out. I'm going to stack the old wound on him. I'm going to heal with this guy. Oh, we're going to plan to attack this guy for sure. I heal off of that. I heal off of that. Let's go. Oh, my God. Right in the gut. Yo, four? With a little knife, that guy's done. Beam. Yeah, how about that, dog? How about that with your little kitchen now? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. 35. On this guy, we're going to do the max health damage. And on this guy, we're going to we're gonna burn him. We're going to make him bleed out. Oh, I didn't pick the right guy. Oops. Ooh, I need to heal. Oh, I need to heal so bad. Yeah, I need to heal bad. I'll put the old wound on this guy. Do I die here? Why do I hit him so low? Oh, I healed 19. Nice. That's massive. Oh, they broke my focus. I'm um, gonna give this guy a quick stab, a quick job, I mean. And then I'm gonna heal. Yeah, quick job, he's done. I heal off of this. Oh, the heal, 11, let's go. Yeah, he should be dead. Oh, yo, this one was a hard fight. I was bleeding out. Yo, I would have died. Get off my lawn. Oh, yo, I'm bleeding out for sure. Burglars. I heard a noise. Are you all right? Imagine I would have gone to the garden. We've had a few unwelcome visitors. Burglars? What's wrong with this town? I'll call uncle. There's no rush. I don't think they'll try to rob anyone anytime soon. <laughs> For real. Who were these guys? Did they leave anything? No, they didn't leave anything. Imagine I wouldn't have gone to the garden. Go to the tailor to collect the evening wear. Where's the tailor? Oh, it's said down here. Point of interest. Point of interest right here. What is this? Is that my house? Oh, I got a point. Nice. All right, we're going to go to... The tailor is right down here. I 
I still only have these clothes. Let's talk to the tailor. Where the fuck did I put my Excuse crochet me. book? Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Huh. Sorry, what? You tell me. <laughs> what Hello. is it? Say so you need evening need wear. Some evening wear, quick. Good proportions. Thank I'll turn you. your key, Juan. Okay. Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Victor Shulsky. The glizzy clobbler. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. And Mr. Shulsky. Hey, Juan. If you'll allow me a moment of candor, as it often seems no one dares to address you with it. Sorry, what? Go and find yourself a barber in Pavonsky. You look like a troglodyte. Now, I'd like to go to my business. There's I no reason for you. him to call me that. All right. There's no reason for him to call me that. Yo, that, this guy's this tailor is kind of crazy. Oh, I should have examined all of this first. This is where the tailor's ideas come to fruition. Incomplete tailoring designs. This is staggering. There is staggering anger radiating from the patterns. Desperate hands try to sketch something valid, interesting, and original to no avail. All that's left is chaos and impatience. Hmm. You troglodyte. Ah, I should get a. I should get a haircut then. Where's the haircut? Guess we check these out. Hmm. Place of respite? What is that? What's respite? Like respect? Or just like... You'd find benches where you could wait for another time of day. Certain events can only take place at a certain time, so it's worth using them. Oh, that's cool. Let's wait. Talk to Oop here. So it's like a rest, okay. Oop here. Hmm. What did he say? <laughs> let's wait until Nah, let's just get up. We'll hang out at night. I know the coomers are out. The Daily Courier. I make clothes, costumes, and gowns in keeping with the latest designs. And I stocked up in Paris. The Warsaw Music Society invites you to a concert at the Reduta Halls. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go down here. Visit a barber. Wait, what are they saying here? Ticket? Oh, I got a ticket. Nice. Oh, right, where's the barber down here? I'm gonna go get a haircut. Because I need one. Bad. My hair's looking a little kinky right now. Ah, let's see what I do. Okay, we're following the little trail. Oh, this is to take the carriage to another city. The Reptilian Bash. Yeah, let's go over there. Let's go get our hair cut. It's okay. Judging by it, I definitely need one. Oh, what's here? Putting so much wealth in the dirt poster, the Technicians Association in Warsaw invites you to attend a series of lectures developed, delivered by top Polish inventors, technicians, and people of science. Okay. You can listen to people of science. All right, so the barber's right down here. What is it, like morning right now? That gives you XP when you use them, so it's not bad. Catch a tram? No. 
Wait, no. Hmm. Come in. Well, I want that mustache. Please set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, this is very believable to the hair that I usually rock. This one right here. And then we're going to go with the with the old fashioned. Or should I just do a mustache? Yo, we're just going to leave the mustache. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Oh, we have the same haircut. <laughs> he gave me the same thing. Yeah, Admit that you so like talented. It. Years of practice. My the stash goes hard, yeah. Satisfied. Dude, the stash goes hard. Right? I got a hair quick little haircut because I'm in the city for for a funeral. We're gonna go back. Prepare for the soiree. Where's the soiree? Let's catch a train. Go over here. We're gonna prepare for the soiree. Ooh. Okay. Um, where's this soiree they speak of? Okay. Is it even in here? Is it all the way down south? Is it here? Oh, it is here. Solsky's family tenement house. Okay. Oh, I got my clothes. That's why I came back home. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Recently, I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. Hmm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tail hmm. I'm looking fly, Very that's what fun. she means. Are you getting dressed so we can go or have you changed your plans? Uh, no, let's get dressed yes, and go. Let's go, and let's go to the soiree. In. in that case, I'll go get changed too. Oh, look at me. I look fly. Look at you. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. Oh, I look good. Very chic choice. Say so you look better than she does. <laughs> <laughs> Say thank you and return the thank compliment. You. you look fantastic. It's my sister, thank dude. Thank you. <laughs> you think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Huh, I he hope he is mad. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. <laughs> so vain. I literally... I look better than you. <laughs> okay. You know what? That's probably something I would say to my sister, honestly. Not a bad option. The game makes my my computer lag a little bit. <laughs> Come to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Ligia Shulska, here on the invitation <laughs> of Stefana Romianceva. Yes, we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. What does I'm that mean? I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? 
our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? Hmm. I'm about to mess this whole night up. Actually. Oh, I'm getting a flashback. At the soiree. Who are you, my golden Slytherin friend? Victor? Victor. Victor. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, of course. Uh -oh. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? We're walking into the Vipers then, brother. Reassure her that everything is alright. Tell her you'll join her in a minute. Yeah, everything's alright. Everything's alright. I just got a little lost in thought. I'll be good, I promise. Uh oh. I'm going gonna mess to the whole night up. A little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. See you there. See you there. Journal updated. Vision of a solid tour. All right, so, okay, this is going to be a, a, a big chunk. So we're going to go ahead and save right here. And then we'll just call it a night and continue tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a fun stream.